Analytics firm says Apple TV Plus premier interest pales compared to Netflix. Uh, there's a, a company out there, and they go by the name of Parrot. And this company aims to determine the popularity of a TV series based on a wide array of inputs that happen on the web. General interest measurement, social media analysis, what are people talking about? And then it, it uses that data against other similar data they see for other shows to try to figure out how popular something is that isn't on traditional TV. like Kind of like a Nielsen for web-based stuff. Mm. And so they compared some of those new Apple TV Plus shows, such as The Morning Show, For All Mankind, C, uh, a couple of others. And they compared those against Hulu shows, Netflix shows. Uh, what else they have in there? DC, Amazon Prime, DC Universe. There's, there's a couple in this list. This list includes some of the best performers, which this was actually surprising to me. The Dark Crystal Age of Resistance. On Netflix, hot show. Yeah, I've seen a little bit of promo for that. Okay, it's uh, it looks fun. Hot show. It's like puppets and. Uh, hey, I'm into. It. I'll give it. A, I'll yeah. give it a glance. I probably won't, but. Yeah. But growing up, I was a big Dark Crystal guy. One of the few VHS tapes I had. Mm -hmm. So maybe I got to peek into it. I'm not really sure. Uh, but the surprising part, or at least based on this article here. The expectation was much higher for the Apple TV Plus launch titles because of the marketing that went into them. Billboards and commercials mm -hmm. and, and everything else. And the worst performance, maybe the most surprising part, the morning show with the most star power of the right. bunch. The morning show with the lowest score of the bunch as far as interest is concerned. A couple of others beat it. Uh, now, granted, Will, they're new players. Right? Netflix established. People are talking. People have subscriptions. And people are, as we know, they might be experiencing some subscription fatigue. It's just another service. Ah! Mm -hmm. And on top of that, Apple is giving people a free trial on products sold since September. Is that correct? September 10th, I think. Early September. People are going to begin to, to, to start these free trials. And then maybe these numbers go up as people continue to buy their new Apple devices with the subscriptions bundled in. Mm -hmm. But as for right now, I guess it's not looking so great. It's hard. Are you going to subscribe? I probably have a free trial. All the iPhones floating around and whatever other products. Yeah. Are you going to watch? No, but I can't the watch these show? things. I can't watch these things. Why not? Well, I thought we talked Just, about uh, this before. What am I doing? I'm some... sitting at home. I, I'm sitting at home. I'm watching the morning show. Yeah. Steve Carell. Guy like me. He's making funny. Guy like me. I'm sitting at home. Why not? Give it a shot. You might like it. That's what I got you for, Will. You got to go watch these things. I mean, yeah, sure. I'll, I'll... Okay, let us know about the morning show. A lot of star watch. power. Jennifer Aniston. Uh, <laughs> uh, there's another one. You know, I don't look. I don't look. I don't know what Apple's doing. Content is hard. How do you be? How do you go from being a tech company, content company, you start hiring people, you buy a couple of cameras, and then what? You still got to figure it out like everyone else. Mm -hmm. It ain't that easy to 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 generate this interesting stuff. And like I said, Will, I think we're really at this point right now where it's just this convergence. It's it's. There's so many potential subscriptions you can you can have. Are people gonna pick Apple out of the bunch mm -hmm. with in the face of Netflix and Disney Plus and, and whatever else? Hulu. Mm. I don't know. It's a it's a tough gig. It's a tough sale. But nonetheless, they're trying and they're trying to diversify their their uh, portfolio because as we mentioned in a previous episode, you can't just lean on iPhones for everybody. Got phones now. You can't keep banking that grand forever every single year. Yeah. So now you got a nickel and dime. You got to take five every month. Yeah. So Dis you got distribute your portfolio. There you go. I think you mean diversify. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Is it? 
Yeah, it is. No, Willie, right. Willie do, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, if you need to know about business. <laughs> Apparently not. Don't go to me. <laughs> Diversify your portfolio.